It looks very cool to have animated charts with all kinds of colors and movements in your app, right? So let me show you how to achieve that in Streamlit. If this is your first time in one of my videos, welcome. I am Musra. I teach data science on YouTube in an easy to understand and approachable way. Uh, Streamlit is also one of the things that I teach simply because I really like it. It's a really nice tool. And that's why I made a Streamlit template actually that you can download using the link in the description. It includes all the first building blocks of a Streamlit app. So you can just get going with it super easily in no time. So don't forget to go and download that one and let's get started. I'm going to show you two different ways of how to achieve animated charts. The first one, uh, we have a data set of GDP per capita and life expectancy of each country uh, throughout the years. And we also have the continent information of these countries. Uh, what I want to chart is the life expectancy on the y-axis and the GDP per capita on the x-axis. Uh, as you can see right now, we don't have any animation. And what, what I can do is just change the year that I want to see. And, you know, then it will show me each continent is colored in a different way. Uh, so continents in Asia are colored in blue. Continents in Africa are colored in green, for example. Uh, but, you know... If you really want to see how things change through time, this is not really a good way uh, to see that. So it will be better to have an animation. The second one is uh, a COVID chart. So we have information of how COVID has evolved in different countries. So we have the country, we have, to, I guess this is the code of the country, the date of the information that was collected, a number of confirmed cases on that date. And this is what we're going to work on basically. And again, if we want to see, you know, if you want to chart it without any animation, what we can do is we can say, okay, show me a specific date. And, you know, I can change that date to a later date if I want to see how it changed in a certain country. And I made a multi-selection uh, option here. So, you know, if I also want to see United States in comparison to Brazil, then I can also add that. Or if I want, I don't know, if I want India, then I can see them comparatively. But again, to see the change, I need to change the date. So. That's why we're going to change these two charts and introduce animations to them. So let's check out the code. Uh, here, nothing very fancy here. I only read the data. So I import the data from the Plotly library already and then write the data here. As you can see, it's just this basically this table, writing the data. And then for the drop down menu, I get the options that all the years that are in this data set and I ask the user to select a year from these years and the default value value is the first year. And I basically then filter the data set based on the year that the user wants and then create a scatter plot and basically uh, show it then. Um, that's all with the COVID one again. I am using pandas to read the data this time, but I'm using getting it from a URL directly. So you can use this URL. I can put it in the description if you want to have access to it. Um, and also then I have, I'm changing the columns of this data set and I am casting the date into a date time value. So as you can see here, Let's see, yeah, and then I, I need to cast this into data, uh, date time so that I can put it in a plot. Uh, if it stays a string, then, you know, we cannot see which date is which, so it's, it's not really uh, easy to work with. Um, and then again, I get country, options of the countries. Now let's change this here. Yeah, so we have options of the countries and I ask the user to select the country. I get the options for dates and I ask the user to just choose that too. And I do the filtering based on each and then I create the plot, basically, that's all. And then I show the plot. I have some update layouts, just, just that's to make the figures a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to show you how to animate them, but it's going to be so simple and like blink and you might mix, miss it. So for the first graph, what I have to do is, only add these two new parameters here, which says, uh, which is animation frame and animation group. Animation frame is on what 
would you like to have the animation? And I'm saying on the year. So I want to see the graph change through the years. And animation group is country. I want to see the, how the countries are uh, changing. So let's see how this affects my graph. So I need to say rerun. Oh, and also one other thing that I have to do is I need to remove this filtering because we don't want to filter anymore. We want to see everything, all the years. Okay, so the graph looks a little bit different now. Um, yeah, and you know, I just click this play button. It's, yeah, it's really like magic. Basically, we now start from 1952, going all the way to 2017, uh, 2007. We can see how the GDP per capita changes based on life expectancy. And the size is also uh, the population. So the sizes of the bubbles are the population uh, of each country. So that's pretty neat. So this was very simple. So let's see how we can create the same change in the other graph, which is here. And it's actually pretty similar. I, again, before I forget, I need to delete the filtering because I don't want to filter on the date anymore. I add two new parameters, which are animation frame and animation group. Again, I want to group them by country, but I want to have the date as the animation frame. So if I save this, Okay, now it starts all the way from the sec uh, first of, yeah, I, um, I guess this is the US date. So, 2nd of January? Yes. Uh, so, you know, in January we don't really have anything. Okay, okay, okay. And then after a while we start seeing COVID cases go up. Uh, as you can see, this is very slow. You know, and it's a nice animation, it's very slow. So, what I found is actually if you change these two things, the transition times, then you can play with these numbers, you get a faster animation. So we can see it here. Yeah. Let's start from the beginning. Yeah, as you can see now it goes faster and it's actually much more usable. If you want, you again, of course, you can create a filter here so that you only see the uh, COVID case changes after a while. So that's, that's one way of doing it. If you want, you can add more countries and then play it again. So this is one very simple way of how you can animate your graphs. Uh, you might need to play around with it a little bit to get it to the right position based on what you want to see. But basically it's this easy, just these two parameters and you'll be on your way. So uh, go try this for yourself. I think for many projects, this will be good enough. Of course, you can have a little bit more like fancier uh, animations, but uh, I think, yeah, that would take a much longer time to explain and also to understand. So hopefully this will be useful to you and let me know if you want to see more advanced versions of animations too. I'll, I'll make sure to research a little bit and also bring that to you too. Well, that was easier than you expected, wasn't it? I mean, it was definitely easier than what I expected when I first started looking into it. Uh, but thanks again for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and maybe even subscribe so that I know that you are interested in stuff like this so I can keep making it. Uh, apart from that, also, I would like to remind you again that I have the Streamlit template that you can download in the description. And with that, you can just get going in no time with Streamlit and you'll be making the most beautiful apps in the world. Uh, thanks again and I'll see you around.